Hello everybody, Zeno here, and welcome to episode 2.5 of my Flash tutorial series. And yeah, that's kind of weird. Episode 2.5 now, after episode 4. It's a little weird, but I thought it would be an appropriate name because we are going to get a little more advanced with like the motion tweening, which you guys would learn in episode 2. So I kind of thought it would be an appropriate title to make it 2.5. Anyway, we will delve right in. What we'll be learning to do is um, how to make scrolling backgrounds. And in order to do that, obviously you need to have Flash open and something to import your images in. I will use Adobe Fireworks. And if you guys want to follow me on this, I won't have a file, but it should be really easy to follow if you guys just have this all set up and watch it. But what I'm going to do is I already got this VCAM set up so we can work with it as soon as possible. I'm going to keep the dimensions 550 by 400 just because it's the default. But I will open up Leaf 4 Zone from Sonic Advance 2, and you guys can get my sprite pack. I'll probably, hopefully, remember to put the link in the description here. But if I don't, it will be in Episode 1 of my tutorial series, and you can pick it up there. But as soon as we open up this file here, we will get the background ready. And copy it in. And I'm going to put a new layer, call this one the background one because it's the first background we're going to paste it right in now we're going to do a quick little test yep it pops up exactly how it should be and now if we want to get it to be scrolling backgrounds um my favorite my preferred way is to make it automatically scroll even if it's just one frame because we can do it in here if we want to but I don't really find that the ideal situation unless you're dealing with frame perfect things and a lot of the time you're not so what I would like to do here is convert this thing into a symbol and call it moving background one. Don't want it to be a button. <laughs> Preferably a movie clip because movie clips will play even if it's in one single frame. If you have it on graphic, usually it'll do it on a per frame basis for you. And that's kind of hard to explain without showing you, but first we'll do the movie clip. Make sure it's everything ready to go and now double click on it because we're going into the symbol <clears throat> and animating the scrolling background. And of course to have a scrolling background you need to have it repeat. And the best way to do this is to just duplicate it. And the shortcut button for that on Windows, because I know Adobe is on Mac and I don't know that platform very well, but if you hold if you press Ctrl and D it'll duplicate it and then we can line it up. And see if you see those little like dash marks that means you're lining things up perfectly and as you can see it almost looks like a flawless repeat of the background and you're going to want to do that a couple times just like that so now that we have a couple of repeated backgrounds going we're going to need to make a motion tween so i'm going to make this a slow scrolling background so i'll probably set this to about 120 frames and by the way the default frame rate is 24 i like making it 30 just because it's smoother to my eyes. I don't know how it is to yours. I don't want to get into that debate. <laughs> but we'll set it to about 120. Convert. We can make it a classic tween. Well, I prefer it to be a classic tween just because it's easier to work with, in my opinion. But now that we've got this set up, we need to move the background at the last frame closest to the repeat of the first background. And the easy way to do this is to hold shift so you don't accidentally move it up, down, left, or right. You can only move it left or right as long as you're close to the image. But see how we have outlines of each repeating background right there? If we line it up as close as we can, but not actually perfectly, about, let's say, right there to the previous background is, like right there, you'll be able to get it repeating. So if we click out of here and test it, it'll start to moving. And hopefully it'll loop smoothly. If you see that twitch forward right there, usually that means it jumps back to the beginning and that means you didn't do it right. So there's a little bit of finesse, finessing you guys have to do here. So it all depends on how fast it scrolls and how long you're making it scroll for. So we're gonna want to make it repeat about maybe right here instead. Hit control enter to test. Whoa, that was really bad. So I made it even worse. So we're going to want to put it back a little bit, probably. That's probably what made it jump. Nope, I made it even worse again. Okay, so 
See, there's a lot. It's a little tricky to do, but once you get it down, I haven't done this in forever, so I just know. How, I just remember how to do it. But uh, one good way to do this is to also look back at frame one and kind of zoom in to see, like, look for a reference image on your background. Let's say this blue square on frame one, and if you go all the way to the end frame, we want something that makes it look like it's getting close to aligning with it, but not exactly. And I like using my finger to put on the screen to help see where it moves so that that's going to jitter forward so we're going to put that back a little bit test it out and hopefully it should look smooth nope still doesn't look smooth so it's jumping because of the background switching so we want it to align with oh i was way off boom and then boom so that needs to go forward see there's a it's tricky even for me sometimes it, it's a good time there is a there's a reason why there's a lot of time wasted in making animations like these see that one still jitters a little bit but it's pretty good so we'll, that's pretty good right there and now we're gonna make this scene a little more complicated and we're gonna put a foreground image on there and I'm gonna put this flat one because it's easy to loop <laughs> and that's why most scrolling backgrounds are very simply designed because they're easy to make it loop but now we're going to put this here we're going to duplicate it a couple times usually three to four is about the, the perfect level but the main goal of having duplicate backgrounds is so you don't see the background end at all by accident when you're making the animation so now we're going to convert this into a symbol and i'll copy it fg1 just to make it simple and now we'll start scrolling it. So since this is the foreground, it'll scroll just a bit faster. So we're gonna create a classic tween. Hold shift and put it over about there. So let's see, arrows are facing down. So maybe not like that. Let's see, you can preview it in here, but usually the animation ends. So what I like to do is hit control loop playback so you don't have to test the movie every single time and then just press enter and sometimes you can like to block to how it begins and ends with your hands so you can kind of see how well it loops and that doesn't loop very well. So we need to fix it. It's the reference sprite. Let's see that goes right there. So that piece needs to go about whoops see I didn't hold shift about right there so when I loop almost a seamless loop so now when we test the full movie it's playing pretty good so now we want to make it if we want to make it look like you know if there's a reason why they're actually scrolling we should import a gif of like Sonic walking or something. Running is a little too fast for this slow scroll, so if you're doing a faster one, you can make him run. But where the heck is this walk cycle? Let me type in walk. Okay, that doesn't help. It doesn't search it for me. How about walk? Nope. Google isn't being Google. Microsoft isn't being nice to me right now. Ah, here we go. Found it appears in here it usually should be named a symbol so I'll type it sonic walk oh put them in a new layer usually that's a big thing sonic sonic walk why is it dragged over there sonic walk modify we'll flip them around and now we'll actually do this now we're going to motion between him walking across here. Hopefully I didn't make it where he's walking the wrong way. So he's walking really fast. <laughs> and see, sometimes it takes a little bit of trickery to get it to look like he's walking without sliding. And he's walking fast enough, like a, a really, really fast walk to make this kind of look okay. But that basically is it. I mean, to get a scene set up like that, it's pretty good. And I guess I'll just show off I guess to put it simply I'll show off what it's like when you can get really really far into doing like scrolling and you can do even fighting so 
I'll throw in my movie here where Sonic and Shadow are fighting. Even though it's not very well animated to me, because it's nothing as good as, like, Super Mario Bros. Z or something. So we'll load it up. It's probably going to be loud as F, so prepare your headphones. I apologize in advance. Let's see, when, when, when your Flash videos get pretty large, it does take a while to export and stuff like that. So... Just get ready. Gosh, it is slow today. My processor must be not happy. Okay, so I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down. Hey, don't go away on me. Don't go away on me. Okay, something... Here. I'll just turn it off. But we're going to scene selection, which you will learn in episode 4, if you haven't watched it already, and then we'll watch the fight. Which I may have to skip ahead. Because this isn't... There's actual dialogue here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can just go watch the video if you really want to. I'm just showing a demonstration just to pan out video time because we got to be honest here. People do that. So, boom. Let's make it look cool. Scrolling right here, it's very short. But it helps keep the flow of the fight going and make it look action-y. A good use of it is when they fight underground right here. Because it scrolls like this, and it looks like they're moving really fast. And most of this is just pretty much a bunch of pre-animated GIFs and motion tweens. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it, just, it just looks a lot more advanced than what's really going on here. The trick is just to make, make it look like they're syncing up right, so it looks like it's flowing natural and stuff like that. This is an example of a vertical scroll. But it's not too hard to do either. Really, they're falling through a lot more sky than what they should really be doing. But boom, the fight's over. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys know, in a way, how to do something like that. And give the video a like if you learned something. And stay tuned for whatever next episode I'll be coming up with. Because at this point forward, I might be ending up making an episode 3.5 or two, you know, 4.5. Who knows? So... Stay tuned for the next episode, and I will see you guys later.